you're looking for an alternative to Android tablet or the iPad, then take a look at the Yola tablet. Now, we've previously seen this slate on Indiegogo, where it smashed its target of $380,000 within just two hours of going live. But now we're going to go in for a bit of a closer look. So what is the excitement about? Well, for one, it runs Sailfish OS rather than Android, which apart from looking really nice, apparently is a lot easier to use. So it makes strong use of various gestures. So swiping left or right on an app, for example, will take you back to the home screen and swiping up from anywhere in the interface will bring up the app drawer so you can really easily switch between apps. The home screen itself is really just like a multitasking panel. You can see you've got your most recent open apps here and you can see live information so you can see what's going on without having to actually open the app itself. And speaking of apps, although you don't have access to the Google Play Store, there are various Android apps that you can download and run on this that you can find from third-party app stores. You'll find big names like Spotify, Netflix, and Twitter on here, so really most of the big ones are covered off. Physically, it's not bad looking either. If we turn it around, you can see it's got quite a plain black back, but it definitely feels very comfortable to hold. Its screen is 7.85 inches on the diagonal, so it's quite easy to hold, and although you probably couldn't get it in your pocket, it will certainly sit in your bag and carry around all day without you feeling too bogged down. The screen itself has a 20, 48 by 15, 36 pixel resolution, which is very good. It's, uh, everything looks really sharp and clear, text is easy to read, and even under these quite bright lights, it's, it's fairly easy to see. It's running on a quad-core Intel processor, which seems to be more than enough to make everything seem pretty swift as you're navigating around. And it has a 4450 milliamp an hour battery, which should be plenty to keep it going for at least a day or two. Those early Indiegogo backers will be receiving their products in the coming couple of months, but it'll be going on general release in the second half of 2015 for around 249 euros, which really isn't a bad price at all for what you get. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET, and this is the Yala tablet running Sailfish OS.